Caitlin, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plants, and today I am going to be swapping out my deco board. So I first showed my office deco boards in my office tour video, which you can check out, link down in the description below, and I will put it in the cards as well. But I have two uh, decorative boards in my office that I swap out seasonally, or semi-seasonally, we'll call it. Uh, I tend to run a little bit behind. One hangs by my desk, but can actually be moved, and I have a couple other spots around the room that I move it to or just depending on like when I'm if I'm filming face front or all flat down on my desk mostly it just stays right above my planning cart and it's the one that I look at the most and then another one is hanging on a wall and it's a quite a bit bigger but it actually doesn't come off the wall so I have to swap that one out over there so on my office tour video somebody had requested that I film my process for putting these together and I thought that that would be super super fun so I have the one that I can swap around pulled down right now and I am going to get this set up for the next season ahead. So it's really, we're going into spring. It's the end of, it's like the end of March here. I still have my winter setup going on, which was like a winter slash Thanksgiving setup, if you will. This one I'm going to be doing spring, but I've been thinking a, a lot about how I want to do the setup for this. Usually what I do is I pick like one or two journaling cards or art prints and I create a focus based on that. And then I'll pull in other things from my collection based on that. So for this month, I have a couple of things pulled out, some Simply Gilded cards and one Holly Nichols print as well um, that I'm going to sort of create my focus around. And my theme for spring, instead of just doing like flowers or something like that, which I probably will do on the other one, I'm going to go with like a more little introspective theme. I've been thinking a lot about de-stressors lately and just like wanting to focus on, you know, changing my reactions to stress and handling stress better. So I just decided to go with like these really like Zen vibes, some rainbow vibes, um, a little bit of like yoga vibes in to this little deco board since this is the one that I look at most of the time. So first what I'm gonna do is pull all of this fun stuff off. I thought that you would just kind of like to see what it looks like now. And then I am going to get it set up with my new cards. I will do this as a speed through uh, since this is my first time ever filming this process and then I will go ahead and talk through what I'm doing as I'm doing that. So if that sounds fun, you can stay tuned. But jumping right in, I started by pulling out all of the push pins and then I'm going to just start moving all of like the cards and die cuts out of the way and I was just trying not to lose anything on the floor and just kind of piling it off to the side so that it wasn't in the way while I was getting everything all set up here. And then really quick, I just flipped through all of the cards that I had pre-pulled from my card binder, which I have just like this gigantic binder where I stick all of the cards. So I was just showing the ones that I had pre-picked as like sort of my focal points. I do end up using all of them except for the one Hello Petite paper card. I just couldn't make that one work and it ended up there was like a little bit of a gold accent on it which I didn't notice when I was pulling it and this was very much a silver board so I end up that's the one that I'm messing with now. I end up not using that one but the rest of these are going to go down sort of mostly where they are right now. I just all almost all of those are from Simply Gilded. The one floral one on the left bottom is a like a order card from uh, Paper Trail Plans and then the print in the middle with the Fashion Girls is a Holly Nichols print, but the other cards are all from Simply Gilded boxes or from Simply Gilded orders. So then I have my little die cut binder off to the side here and I was just pulling out some things that matched. Uh, a lot of these are just from like random orders or old journaling card packs uh, or old like TN setup kits, um, but some of them I've made myself either from like die cut sticky notes like those Simply Gilded ones or just from printing and like cutting on my silhouette. I love die cuts. Um, I love notebook setups and all of that kind of stuff. So I have a lot of this stuff and I always save all of it, which speaking of which you'll notice as I put things down, I actually never stick the push pins through the journaling cards or the die cuts. If it's just like a piece of paper that I have that like I have a bunch of or I've printed myself and s stuff like that where I don't mind it getting damaged, I will stick a push pin through that. But otherwise what I actually do with them is I just kind of tuck it into the corner and like use the edge of the circle part to hold things down. And then as well, in addition to that, I actually 
tape a lot of this stuff down with washi tape and I find that that works really well. I almost never have a problem with stuff falling off and if I do I just add a little more washi tape and then I try and keep the washi tape on the back side of everything as well so that you can't see it and also so that it doesn't damage the cards. I actually on my other board for winter I had a little bit of washi running on the front like to look cute and I actually damaged one of my journaling cards and I was really upset about it so that's why I like to you know keep it everything's reusable I use these a lot but yeah so also the push pins that I have are from Amazon and they're just like a multicolor pack the pin on them is actually gold but because you can't see it uh that's why I love these so much because there's like just so many bright fun colors and you can't see the pin part so there's no metallic on them so they match with any of my setups I also do have like gold push pins as well and then I'm just trying to stick this down so my board has like a frame on the back side of it so you actually can't stick the pin through if you're too close to the edge which is really frustrating because I always want like to put a pin right on the edge but I'm just taping it down instead and because this is like a cork board one I don't really like to have uh, any of the background showing through I mean sometimes little bits peek through but like I really want it to be completely covered so you'll see at the top at the bottom I went really heavy with the die cuts but at the top I'm going to stick some larger pieces of paper as kind of like background and I think next time I might actually um, stick down like paper covering the whole thing and then put the and then put all the journaling cards and stuff on top of that I think that would have worked really nicely as well too um, but I did go like I said really super heavy with the die cuts at the bottom and then the top looks like a little bit less busy but I do go through with like a bunch of bows and even it out at the end because you know if it, if you need a little extra flair you just can add a bow um, so this die cut is from Rose Colored Days it was a collab with uh, I think Carolyn XOXO and I absolutely love this it was like this whole like 90s tie-dye vibes um I just have the sticky notes from that collab I just thought they were so pretty uh and I really loved the way they looked but they were so sheer which is honestly great for a sheer for a vellum sticky note but for the board I wanted something behind them so I just stuck them on top of another piece of paper and then these big rainbows are uh they're from Simply Gilded usually what I do with those is I laminate them uh like these I love uh, sticky notes that are like die cut sticky notes and I think they're so much fun because like you can use them as sticky notes which for these rainbow ones I never do I don't think I've ever written on one of them but you can turn them into all kinds of fun stuff so we did we made a bunch of them into magnets with the kids like we laminated them and then put like sticky magnets on the back we um I have them like all over my office I turn them into die cuts all of the time so I they're definitely some of my favorite things uh from the Simply Gilded boxes over the years and I always like love when I get when I used to get those in there and then uh, a lot of those die cuts like the bathtub and the good things are coming one those are art from TWG designs and I actually printed those myself um, so then I am just looking at some papers in my collection that forest one was actually from a toy that the kids got that I thought was really pretty so I saved the backing of it it was a frozen themed toy um, but I felt it was like too wintry so I just grabbed this regular ombre rainbow one that I have uh, and I just kind of tucked that in the back and then I'm just going to add in a little bit of extra flair with this silver bow and I have the pink bow on the other side and then I have one more silver bow um, those were actually from my other board that I had them up for winter with like a whole sparkly snowflake vibe that I did on that one you can check that out on my office tour as well you'll be able to see it if you watch that video um, and I haven't set up that new board yet as well but I'm probably going to do like a more spring florals for that one I'll make sure to share that over on Instagram as well when I get it set up so if you follow me there you can check that out but like I said I'm just putting down a last few details here and then that's going to be it for this board Okay, that is everything. So I am gonna pop this back on my wall. I hope you enjoyed getting to see me set this up. It's just like a little bit of fun, chaotic decor. I love a really busy board, just like I really love a really busy setup and planner. So that should come as no surprise. So if you liked seeing this, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm happy to do this again sometime, you know, like when I get it set up for summer or whatever. So definitely let me know. But until then, definitely check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on in my office and in my planner. Bye!